question, are we all really connected? With this speech titled, Don't Even Think About It. <laughs> Here is Postmaster Gary Adams. All right, Gary. Thank you, sir. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good morning. Also, can everyone please give shameless plug good morning to my beautiful, talented daughter, Lexi. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't resist the shameless plug. Don't even think about it. How many of you had your parents say those words to you when you were a kid? <laughs> All of you. How many of you that our parents have said those words to your kid? All of you. Everybody. We could go through the room and talk about the age gaps, the different generations, different cultures. We still said the same thing. There's a lot of things in our world that we have a lot more things in common with each other than we would think. This Interesting little symbol. Make sure everybody can see this. Carson, what do you see in that? Spirograph. How many of you had this spirograph? <laughs> Lexi, you don't even know what it is, do you? <laughs> it's okay. Jeff, do you see anything? Amy, give me something better than spirograph. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> Anyway, Amy. Synchronized swimmers. Really good acid. Really good acid. There we go. So, who can tell me what are the three primary shapes? Square. Okay, we got a square. We have a circle. We have a triangle. In what culture? Why? Jordan. Jordan. Why are those the three primary shapes? Well, because once you get to secondary school, they start talking to you about lines, tangents, and so forth. Do you all think that maybe, what's that, Kelly? A self-aware being, even without the influence of education, would end up drawing a circle, a triangle, and a square. Whether you're from China, Africa, America, doesn't matter. The foundation behind what defines us, yes, we all have the same skeletal system, but logic and reason is something we have in common with everyone everywhere. I was camping up in the mountains when, oh, I would say 20 plus years ago. And do I have an extra page? Yes. <clears throat> I was trying to become a better person. I wanted to be a better dad to my daughter. I wanted to do more than I had. So I spent a lot of time trying to understand other people. You know, what made some people successful? What made other people not so successful? Why were some people had this magnetism to them versus people, well, there's Tim, that are somewhat <laughs> repelling to others and we don't really understand why. So I was really thinking about that balance, that balance of mind, body, and spirit. I went, yeah, if they're in sync, that would make sense. And I went, well, and then there's a connection. So then there's us, and we have our little balance of mind, body, and spirit. But what about someone who was mentally in a good spot, physically in a good spot, but spiritually not in that great of a spot? If we were to take a needle and put it at the center of these and spin them, the vibration energy that this person put out versus this person, one would be somewhat like Linger, and one would be more like someone that we really feel drawn to. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I came up with this silly little symbol for myself. So it's like, okay, we have a nice little balance of mind, body, and spirit. 
another thing that popped in my head is I went, well, yeah, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. I went, okay, this is, there's, there's a connection here. There's something. So I was satisfied with that for a week. And I kept thinking about it. And I went, well, there's probably more to it. Because if you added to it, and you started putting those shapes together, and you went, well, if I had more triangles, I had more squares, it would go, away, go together a certain way. Except as I multiplied it, it started becoming more frustrating. Because I felt like we had three primary shapes, so we should have a triangle, we should have a circle, we should have a square. Six unilateral triangles makes a perfectly formed three-dimensional square. And I went, okay, but it still didn't fit with my first drawing. So I started replicating it. And I went, okay, we'll go triangle up, we'll go triangle down. I went, oh wow, we have the Jewish star. Oh, well, that's interesting. We're starting to see symbols that come from different cultures out of those basic shapes. I went, well, then we got our three primary colors. They fit right in. We went three secondary colors. I go, cool. This is putting together this interesting map that crosses cultural lines. And of course, obviously, I must have way too much free time. And I was really, really bored. So I was doing all this. And then I kept playing with it. And started adding more triangles and more squares. Now, have any of you noticed that there isn't a square in there? But there is. Because those six triangles make the three-dimensional square and that's what hit me I had this drawn and I got frustrated because I went well if this is something cool if this is something that who knows maybe it's the key to the universe this is something that connects us all I went, well damn it there's no square we have circles we have triangles in the three primary shapes so there has to be a square and then I realized that it was in there I was also upset that there was that symbol that I found from certain cultures. And I went, well, if you unfold that box, the six sides of the box created other symbols that we weren't even aware of. And then, of course, I kept going. I went, well, we've got the clock pattern fits in here. Our seasons fit in here. And I can't believe I'm out of time. What this symbol really meant to me is I started putting more and more of it together is it helped me understand a poem. It was William Blake's to see the world in a grain of sand, to see heaven in a wildflower, eternity in the palm of your hand, and infinity in an hour. But then I'd probably suggest, don't even think about it. Thank you, Toastmasters. <laughs>